Don't you ever wonder why a big heavy ship can float on water? Well, if you take even a small light stone and drop it into water, it sinks. A ship has a large mass. A stone has a small mass. But mass is not what determines whether something floats or sinks. Rather, it's density. A ship has a lower density than water, so it floats. A stone has a higher density than water, so it sinks. What does that mean? What is density? First, we need to understand the meanings of the terms mass and volume. Volume means size, how big something is in a three-dimensional way. Imagine that these three blocks were three-dimensional cubes rather than the simplified blocks shown here. How do their sizes compare? A and C have equal volumes. B has a smaller volume. Mass is a measure of the amount of matter in an object. Imagine that each blue circle represents a certain amount, maybe a gram. Of matter. How do the masses of these objects compare? A and B have the same mass as one another because they've got the same number of blue circles, five. C has the most mass because it has the most blue circles, nine. Now what about density? Simply put, density refers to how squashed the particles which make up the substance are, how compact the substance is. Density is mass per volume. How do the densities of these three blocks compare? Which is most squashed? The most squashed one has the highest density. Which is least squashed? Which has the lowest density? Let's compare A and B. Can you see which has a higher density? Let's check if you're right. Which has more mass? They both have the same mass. Which has more volume? A has more volume. So which one is more dense? B. It's easy to see that B's particles are more squashed together. Mathematically, we also know that when the top of a fraction, the numerator, is the same for two fractions that we're comparing with one another, but the bottom of the fraction, the denominator, is different then the answer is greater for the fraction with the smaller denominator. Let's take some numbers to help us here. Let's say both A and B have a mass of 5 grams. Let's say A's volume is double B's. A's is 2 cm cubed and B's 1 cm cubed. That would make A's density only 2,5 grams per cm cubed while B's would be 5 grams per centimetre cubed. So you see how when the numerator is the same, the fraction with the larger denominator has a smaller answer, and the fraction with the smaller denominator has a larger answer. What about A and C? Can you see which has a greater density? Pause the movie while you explain your answer, referring to mass and volume. C has a greater mass as shown by more blue circles in C. Both have the same volume, represented by the same size red blocks. We know that when two fractions have the same size denominator, the one with the larger numerator has a bigger answer. Let's put some numbers in as an example. Let's say A has a mass of 5 grams and C of 9 grams. Let's say both A and C's volumes are 2 cm cubed. That would make A's density only 2,5 grams per cm cubed, while C's would be 4,5 grams per cm cubed. So you can see how when the denominator is the same, the fraction with the larger numerator has a larger answer. It's also obvious that the dots are more squashed in C than in A. C has a greater density than A.